Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing a witchy Q&A. So this was actually requested by some of you guys to talk about more. I have done a few witchcraft related videos in the past so I'll have that playlist linked down below. I also plan on doing a video about I did my tarot collection recently so I want to do a video more about how I personally do readings and what tarot kind of is so that's going to be a separate video. Today's video I asked you guys on Instagram which my Instagram is always linked down below if you guys want to be a part of future stuff like this. I asked you any questions that you guys have related to witchcraft, wicca, crystals, tarot, anything like that and I'm going to be addressing that today. The first, like, the main question that I got was how did I first get into it because I've never talked about my experience, how I started, stuff like that. I'm very much someone who researches a lot of topics. I get interested in something and then I get invested and then I start researching it, despite if I believe in it or not. So I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers, Kayla Nicholson, you've probably heard of her. She does tail readings in some of her videos, like she's a lifestyle channel and like she does like a lot of lifestyle, positive, positivity, stuff like that on her channel. And she also sometimes does like tarot readings and some spiritual stuff. So I have been watching her for so long. So when I saw her get into tarot, I was just really interested. And I was like, oh, I should read more about that. Because, you know, I was often grown up to think like, we'll talk about like personal things in this video just because it was asked. But I was born Catholic not born Catholic, but I've been Catholic since I was a child. So I grew up Catholic. I went to a Catholic school. I go to a Catholic high school. I, we're not, this video is not about religion. Like this is just about some questions you guys asked. So like, we're not going to go into that. But I, you know, I knew like Tara was like, not against the Catholic religion, but it's not a part of it. Like it's not a part of the Catholic religion. Like it's really like outside of it. It's more of a pagan thing um, or occult stuff. Um, people who are atheists can use tarot cards like anybody can but just sp specific to religion like you got to be kind of careful that it doesn't clash with your other beliefs because I don't know um, some people don't care but some people do so just pointing that out so I saw someone else talking about it like I said that youtuber that I really like I saw her doing readings and stuff and I was like oh like I'm really interested like I should I've always been kind of interested in witchy stuff and occult stuff so like I was like you know what I should give it a try so I bought a tarot deck and I got it it was my first uh, the wild unknown tarot deck by Kim Kranz and I started playing around with that and for the first little bit I was just kind of studying it like how it worked or how like you do tarot how you do the spreads what each card means that you know there's some beliefs that aren't right just like that there's like common misconceptions about tarot like the death card means you're gonna die or like if you do a reading it's gonna tell you who your true love is which is like not how it is at all so there's a lot of like s stuff shown in films and pop culture that it's just not right and related to tarot also like a lot of con artists out there who do use tarot just to make money so like when people hear tarot they often think of like psychics or like con artists like street artists stuff like that which is not actually the case because some people really do believe in these cards and believe that they help them and are not con artists so I first got into it because of my interest in witchcraft from when I was younger and like in current time also some inspiration that I saw from another youtuber that I was watching and I also just had a general interest in what the cards were about because nobody I, I don't know nobody around me does tarot readings nobody that I know is into that or like was into that when I wanted to start so I decided to look into it on my own so I got a tarot deck and played around with it that's kind of where it started for me I also got a question do you believe in them I'm gonna interpret this in terms of the tarot deck I do I think I don't believe in this card is the death card that means you're gonna die like there is like more positive and more negative cards you can interpret them that way but like literally all cards are up to interpretation and can be implied like they can all be implied like they can all be shown in your own personal life 
for example, a card about motherhood or about finance struggles, anything like that, that can all be linked to you or to what a friend's going through or something like that. So there's just like, I've just gotten really used to the cards. And again, I'll talk more about the cards in like a separate video, but I do believe in them, but I don't, I don't make decisions solely on my tarot cards. I make decisions with my judgment. Um, other things as well as my cards do impact like what I do each day and stuff like that, but it's not, oh my God, I got this card. We are doing this today. Or, oh my God, I got this card. I'm gonna die tomorrow because that's not how it works. <laughs> oh, another question is how did I learn tarot stuff? And I'm just gonna say witchy stuff in general. I, again, I watched a lot of videos on it. So this one YouTuber, YouTube channel, Harmony Nice, I recommend her to like anybody who wants to get involved in witchcraft or Wiccan or all that kind of stuff. If anyone's even curious, I link them to her because I just think she explains everything really well. She has like this really good vibe to her channel. I really love her videos. Um, I also just think she's a great person. I have one of her books that I have to read. Like I just really like her. So I always link people towards her to learn, but I also learned from lots of videos, um, some documentaries and even like witchcraft related books, which is another question on here, is the best witchcraft, is the best witchcraft book I've ever read. So I've made videos on my like witchcraft related books that I've like read and stuff. I would say the little book of witchcraft is the most simple, straightforward guide out there that is really helpful. Also practical magic is a great one as well if you're starting. Have you ever had a discouraging tarot reading and what did you do afterwards? So for a long time I always I did get discouraging readings or I would get this one card that is probably the most negative card in the deck. I would get it very often. It's just, <laughs> the card doesn't look great. I, I will put the card up, but it doesn't look positive and it's just not the meaning of it. Like the meaning of it is just not great. So like I've gotten this card a number of times in relation to future or present or past or my spirit, stuff like that. So I've been, when that happens, I try to do more, like when I get discouraged about stuff like that, I kind of try to do like other things after that, like self care or work on certain things I know I have to work on and then like keep moving forward kind of thing. Does anyone in your family practice it? No. <laughs> No one in my family practices it. No one really talks about it. Most people in my family don't acknowledge that I do it, stuff like that. Um, even when I burn like sage in my room and stuff like that, I usually get in trouble. So I don't do that anymore because it bothers everybody in my house. But yeah, no one in my family practices it. So I wasn't like born with like that parental figure that's related, like that was pagan or like is somehow involved in witchcraft. Next is, are you in a coven? No. I mean, on Reddit, there's a certain coven that I'm like in a chat for. It's like an online coven, but I like want to find my own coven. I don't know. Um, I wouldn't do it with like people like in my area. Like if anything, I think I would start one. I know I'm not like the most knowledgeable. I haven't had the most experience to start one, but I think it'd be really cool. So like, I don't know, like maybe I'll start a coven one day. I don't know, but how accurate would you say tarot is? I, it really depends, like, I think I've had cards that it's like, damn, like, that's really accurate, and everyone that I've done reading readings for, they're like, that's accurate, because most cards you can interpret to your own life, simple as that. I believe in tarot and stuff like that, I confide in it when I need it, you kind of also don't want to be too emotional when you use tarot, it's just something to, it's like an aid to help you, but it's not like the only thing you do when you're in crisis, you know? Um, a lot of these are like, what got you interested? How often do you do personal tarot readings? So like when I do my own tarot readings, I do them almost every day. Um, even if it's just like an app on my phone and I draw one, I do that. If I'm out on the go, I like, I will do the app stuff. When I actually do tarot readings, like again, I try to do them every day, but I don't always. I think it really depends on like the week, the month, stuff like that, or how often I feel like a pull to my deck. The way I try to bring my deck with me wherever I go, just, it just helps me, I don't know. Um, readings for other people, I have done before. I've done a few online, um, and I've done some for my friends and stuff in person, and yeah, I do them every now and then. Like if someone wants one, I tend to do them like in person if I like the person. <laughs> I'll do them for like, I'll do them like, why not? Like I'll do a reading for you. Um, otherwise, like I do charge because like 
it could take a lot of time and stuff like that but it depends. Did you first get into witchcraft and how religious at all before? I was really Catholic growing up and I've had phases where like, yeah, I'm Catholic, but I'm not practicing Catholic. Like I don't pray every night. I don't go to church. I don't do this and this and this. But then there's times in my life where I've been dedicated to that or I have a Bible and I've annotated my Bible or I've read like almost all of my Bible. Like I used to be very religious in that sense. And then things kind of fell for me at, after that point um, with some personal issues and I didn't really believe in it or like take, confide in that religion anymore. I just, just didn't. Um, and just certain like things of the religion I just don't believe in quite frankly. Like when you're born into it, like when you're born and then you get baptized, you don't get to choose your religion, which is fine. Um, but that's why I just don't really practice it anymore. And I don't identify, like I don't identify as that religion but like technically I am because I've had all the sacraments but moving on from that do you have any witchy themed videos if not will you ever make one I have a playlist full so if you guys want to see that I have a playlist full you can check those out some really cool questions so like do you charge cleanse your crystals if so what method and how often I have a singing bowl I invested in that a while ago I clean my crystals with that that's with like the air vibrations and stuff I do that every now and then, like when I'm doing like a deep room clean, like I'll charge all my crystals or if there's like, I don't know, I feel some need to charge them, I'll charge them, cleanse them. I also, when there's a full moon, I tend to put like my favorite crystals that are usually separate from my other ones. I put those like on the window ledge or like outside and they charge overnight. Um, I do it that way. Uh, your favorite crystals. I'm a big fan of opalite. Opalite, Rose Quartz is a classic, Amethyst is a classic, love all those. Um, Selenite's really beautiful, so is Cat's Eye. How did you tell your friends and parents? So, see, I didn't really tell anybody. <laughs> um, I think people just around me could see that I was getting into stuff like that, so I wanted to do tarot cards and read them. I have just since then gotten more spiritual and have relied on more like of Earth's energy and things like that. Um, again, I didn't really tell anybody like, hey, like I think, like I identify, like I like am interested like I practice witchcraft like I never flat out would just say that to somebody it's more like I'm interested in this stuff that's related to witchcraft like they kind of hear me talk about it or if they see the tarot card in my bag or I talk about crystals a lot I, I actually like at the beginning I gifted a lot of people crystals because I was like take some crystals everyone <laughs> so I like I would um buy crystals for people as gifts so they're kind of like why is this trick buying me crystals but uh yeah I don't know if that answers the question, but that is what I kind of did for a bit. I also had a question about if it's linked to paganism. So it is linked to paganism. Like if people ask what religion I am, I technically just say pagan. It's easiest for me. And then I, and then I practice witchcraft, but I tend to just say pagan. Um, Wicca is something that I'm very connected to, but again, that, like, I don't say that when people ask my religion, I usually just say paganism just cause it's easier, but like, Am I Wiccan? Kind of. <laughs> so anyways, that's all the questions I have for today. I hope that like answered some of your guys' cons not concerns. I hope that answered some of your guys' curiosity questions and if you're interested in anything like that. But again, my personal opinions, stuff like that, how I do things might not be how you want to do them or how you start or maybe you like different forms of witchcraft, like looking into deities first or like looking into stuff like that more. I just am drawn to these certain things that I practice. But yeah, um, I will have all the links down below for anything like that. If you guys want to support me on Patreon, I have like a whole tier for witchcraft stuff. If you guys want like ratings and stuff like that, you can get that every month. And yeah, check that out. It will be down below. If you want to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, anything like that, all linked down below. And I will see you guys all super soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.